Hi guys, I'm Nick Maurer. I'm Josh. Uh, we're Material Design. I've uh, been in the Mastercraft for just about a year now, North Downtown Omaha. Um, here's some of the projects we've been working on lately. Um, do a lot of signage, installations, uh, uh, coasters, all, all, all sorts of different projects. Um, did uh, some signage for the 402 Arts Collective here, the stainless steel sign. Just recently finished up two projects, or three projects, I guess, for uh, Mellow Mushroom in Lincoln. Uh, we did this big ceiling installation here. Uh, kind of doubles as acoustic control, helps control the ambient sound in the space. Uh, made a little Penny Planko display here for their entrance, uh, just for kids to interact with. Uh, um, custom built out for my mixer, who's also in the Mastercraft building with us. Um, this is uh, just some custom frames here. Oh, sorry, <laughs> custom frames yeah. um, uh, for a s salon in Benson. Some mm. coasters, um, yeah. plank down in the old market. We've been having a ton of requests for coasters, so wooden <laughs> coasters. Um, we it's worked, a hot thing. We worked with local artists uh, to create this sculpture here for uh, the Southwest Association of uh, Iowa Realtors. Mm -hmm. And then the last one in the bottom right hand corner is um, kind of a a wraparound for the booth also for a mellow mushroom. mushroom. Yeah. So in addition to our client services and our creative services, we also have designed a, a line of products that we manufacture, design and manufacture right in-house. Um, uh, with uh, no inventory, we make everything right on demand, and that's um, what our laser cutter enables us to do. We just create one file for each of these products, and when we get an order for one, we just print it, cut it, finish it, send it out. Um, so we've got a chair, table, a uh, little stool, customizable dog dish holders here. Uh, if you ever come to our shop, Georgie will be there. <laughs> She's our little boxer. Um, did a, a modern turntable cabinet, some cutting boards, bamboo dominoes, and uh, this uh, little coffee table here doubles as a mag magazine storage rack. And most of the products we make, we make out of bamboo. It's really sustainable green material. We love using it. It's, uh, um, I think just better for the environment than, than using fallen trees. Um, this is a bamboo forest. It's beautiful. The reason we use, we want to use bamboo, um, there's several reasons. It's naturally antimicrobial, antibacterial, and antifungal without any chemical treatment. It just comes out of the ground that way. Um, it's higher tensile strength than steel. It's really, really strong material. Um, it uh, sustains itself. There's, once you harvest it, there's no need to replant bamboo. It just grows right back. Um, it's also an excellent carbon sink. It, um, it's actually more uh, beneficial to the environment to harvest bamboo than to let it decay naturally. Um, it stores so much carbon in, its, uh, in the poles, in the culms, and when you harvest it, it just contains that carbon you know, in the material. But if, it, if you let it decay, it releases the carbon back into the atmosphere. Um, it actually, uh, yeah, it puts out 35% um, more oxygen than trees and pulls 30% more carbon uh, than trees. Yeah, per square meter or something, yeah. Um, <coughs> so This is our home. <laughs> we're going to get onto our agenda about bamboo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our home, and that's where we're at, a little black dot there. Um, the only non-eco-friendly thing about bamboo is how far it has to go to get here. Um, all bamboo, no matter if it's, if it's for your floor, for your furniture, for your walls, it all comes from right about here, right around Shanghai. Um, <clears throat> it's all harvested there, manufactured there, distributed from there, and comes into the United States uh, via uh, big shipping or, or freight ships. Um, ocean freighters. So that journey kind of takes away from any of the green aspects of the material. So from Shanghai, it's got to go around the ocean and keep going around the ocean about 6,500 miles to get to LA. It's usually where most bamboo comes in. <clears throat> For us from LA, it has to go an additional uh, 1,500 miles uh, to get to our shop. Um, now, total, that's about 8,000 miles to travel just to be able to use a super green material. Now, um, the really bad part <laughs> is the ocean freighting. Um, anybody want to guess 
how many miles per gallon an ocean freighter gets? <laughs> uh, 0 0.008. <laughs> so 6,500 miles means that ocean freighter burns about 800,000 gallons of fuel. You know? And now that, that's not just, you know, attributed to our bamboo. That's, you know, shared with 14,000 other shipping containers, but still one ship burning that much fuel to take one trip is not our idea of efficiency. Um, this is what it looks like when more people are ordering bamboo. <laughs> um, so each one of those lines is another 800,000 gallons of fuel being burnt. Um, <clears throat> so why China? <laughs> yes, exactly. Why China? So, you know, what Nick and I have been talking about for a long time is why can't we just grow it here in the U.S.? Um, and we know that there's a lot of concern about how invasive this species is, but we've done a lot of research on um, how to contain it, and it's really not that hard. I, I think it's the fact of being invasive is just comes down to a lot of um, irresponsibleness. So. Mm -hmm. Just planting bamboo in your backyard and letting it go. If you can contain the roots, you can contain the plant. It's really as simple as that. Um, so, um, yeah, we've got a plan to maybe start growing it a little more locally. Um, again, that's us. Here's where we'd like to grow the bamboo. Here's where we'd like, we'd like to manufacture the bamboo. <laughs> and here's where we'd like to use the bamboo. Distribute uh, it. Yeah. Now, we got zero miles in ocean freighting, which means our ocean freighting miles per gallon doesn't even matter anymore. And uh, the amount of fuel we burn is much less than 800,000 gallons. Um, so eventually we'll, uh, from that central Midwestern hub, like to supply other American artists, builders, designers, architects, and makers with American originated bamboo panels. Yeah, this is not only a goal just for us to be able to use for our own products. Um, there's no reason why we can't supply everyone else, you know, locally here in the States. So, mm -hmm. yep. so the overall goal is to reduce that ocean freight so we can do made in the USA without the invisible asterisk. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs>